Guyana continues to lead the economic growth in the Caribbean and Latin American region, with newly revised projections from the International Monetary Fund IMF, indicating that Guyana's real gross domestic product, or GDP, will increase by 20.4% in 2021. This is a 4% increase from the earlier projection made in April that Guyana's economy would expand by 16.4% this year. For context, real GDP is an inflation-adjusted measure that reflects the value of all goods and services produced by an economy, in this case, Guyana's economy, in a given year. In simpler terms, the real GDP measures a country's total economic output adjusted for price changes. It is important to note that this October report, unlike the report in July, takes into account the nationwide flooding that Ghana experienced in May and June of this year. This therefore means that despite the widespread flooding and the implications for various sectors of the economy and the disruption of people's lives, the local economy is performing well. Additionally, the IMF reports that Guyana's economy is expected to grow by a further 48.7% in 2022. This too is an increase from the earlier projections. The economy was previously projected to expand by about 46.5% next year. Economic growth in the entire Caribbean and Latin American region is pegged at about 6.3% in 2021 and 3% in 2022. Of the 33 countries in this grouping, Ghana is expected to record the highest level of economic growth. After Ghana, the next highest growth figure is Aruba, at 12.8%. Then there is Panama, at 12%, Chile, at 11%, and Peru, at 10%. In the Caribbean region specifically, Barbados is expected to record a 3.3% expansion, Jamaica a 4.6% expansion, and Trinidad and Tobago a 0.1% contraction or reduction. Ghana's positive growth is primarily hinged upon the developments in its burgeoning oil and gas sector. According to the Ministry of Finance's mid-year report for 2021, Ghana recorded real GDP growth of 14.5%, while non-oil GDP grew by 4.8%. Meanwhile, the IMF also reported that the global economy is projected to expand by 5.9%, a slight downward revision from the 6% projected in the July report. While this appears to be a marginal reduction, the IMF says that the modest headline revision masks large downgrades for some countries. The IMF also stated that the outlook for low-income developing countries has darkened considerably due to worsening pandemic dynamics. Cognizant of the challenges that continue to impact economies differently, the IMF emphasized that the foremost policy priority should be for countries to vaccinate their populations. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Raghavir.